Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and I'm making this video to show you guys basically how to download and set up your TeamSpeak 3 for your computer. So first off, you need to know a bit of background information on your computer. So you hit start, and you left click on my computer, mine's just computer, and open up properties. Um, on computers that have my computer, it'd be under a general tab. But basically, you're looking for your system type. I have a 64-bit operating system, so that's great. Awesome. And then it's just as simple as Googling Team Speak 3 download and hitting enter. On the second download, this is the link I normally. Hey now, Google, don't be horrible. This is the link I normally click because it takes you straight to the download page. So, And then I would select the 64 bit client um, and hit download. You don't need to mess around with this, it's fine the way it is. Um, if you have a 32 bit computer, you can use the 32 bit client. If you have a Mac, Mac's client. You want the client, not the server. The server would be if you're running a TeamSpeak server. Now, after that, it asks you to accept the terms and conditions, and it downloads. Once it downloads, basically you get an icon that looks like this. Um, double click on it to open it, and then basic first thing you want to do is go into your settings and options. And when you download it, it'll like have you adjust your mic and stuff. But this is basically to make it so that other people don't hate you when you connect, to be honest. Um, you would go down to capture. Make sure that this is, mine's on automatically used as best mode. And then my capture device is, you know, my headset. If it was default, then I'd be through my, like, speakers on my computer, which is kind of crappy. And we've got three options. One's push to talk. Now, basically, a lot of people set push to talk. And it you get to select any button you want by clicking on it and clicking a button. And when you hold down that button people will be able to hear you, otherwise they won't. Continuous transmission is just always feeding through your mic. And voice activation is the one that I like, because I don't like putting down different keys. And But with this, the thing is, you'd have to click begin test, and just speak normally into your mic. Like, this is how loud I'm speaking today. So, if this is how loud I'm speaking, I need to move this little bar down to where the green is. And you kind of want to get sort of close to the top of the green. And it may vary different days, because some days I'm, like, really loud and need to move it to, like, right here. Other days I'm really quiet, like today, and need to have it at basically zero. And basically that's so that people can hear you speak, and but at the same time they can't hear random background noise or, like, your little sister coming in and being a weird person. So, you know, it helps. Um, as far as... Do we want to continue and stop? Yes. Uh, apply. You always gotta click apply. I clearly didn't do that. For playback mode, that's pretty simple. Um, if we have like headset, I have automatically used best, so automatically does it. But I could also pick my speakers. I have a headset in though, so you know. Um, that's basically it when it comes to setting up your microphone. A lot of people prefer it if you wear in earphones so that they don't hear themselves echoing back, because that's kind of an annoying thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um. I never really mess with any of those other things. As far as connecting to a server, um, basically hit connections, connect. Um, here's what it looks like. I don't have a password. I mean, some servers do. If so, would go there. Your nickname is what you're going to show up as, um, and then the address. Different team speaks have different addresses. So I'm just going to connect to show you some stuff about this. Um, once you're connected, this is what it looks like. Um, you can change to different rooms. Like if I wanted to go to Smite, I Smite, I'd just double click the room and it moves me. Um, there's a voice that like speaks to you. You can guy or girl voice and it's like channel switched or connected and stuff like that. It just tells you what's going on. Um, you can toggle. This button basically puts you away. When you're away you can still hear stuff but when you speak in your mic they can't hear you. And it shows as like, well here I am. Here's my little blue icon. When I speak into it, it lights up. When I'm not speaking it's like a dark blue sort of like this. Um, these people are on a channel and they're speaking but because I'm not in the channel I can't see that they're speaking. Basically, this um, key mutes your mic. You press it once, it mutes your mic. Um, people can't hear you. This would mute your speakers. Um, this is a button that will basically collapse all the channels, and you'll never be able to see if someone's in a channel. Wouldn't recommend hitting it. Um, one thing about TeamSpeak, though, is when you minimize it, it sort of goes away. Now, a lot of people get confused because they're like, oh, it disappeared. Well, no. It's, if you click over here, it's normally open right in here. Like, here's mine. But the button sort of, if I didn't have any of these ticked, it's a little blue dot, like, next to my name. Basically, whatever's next to my name is what it is there. And that's kind of how you just reopen it. 
I've had a lot of people that have been like, oh, I don't know where it went. Well, that's where it went. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. It's a pretty simple program. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, it's complicated. Not really. Um, yeah, that's about it. Now, once you get into, like, if you own a TeamSpeak and you have, like, fancy little things by your name like me, you can do other stuff as well. Like, I don't know, add channels and create private channels and add passwords and stuff. But basically, that means the channel's password is a little lock. Um, that means, you know, you can't enter it without a password. Um, there's some channels like this one that, yeah, you have to, you cannot speak in it uh, unless you're granted talk power, which is like an AFK channel. But other than that, yeah. So, that's about it. Um, someone requested this video, so I made it. I don't know what else to add. If anyone has any, like, questions about TeamSpeak, um, ask in comments, because I'm pretty good with TeamSpeak. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Please like this video. And have a nice night. Awesome. Can I stop recording? <laughs> Sorry about that. Bye.